When this mother first carried her daughter into the room, our hearts sank and tears immediately sprang to our eyes. It's a far too common sight here in East Africa, children suffering from malnutrition on the verge of starvation. It's difficult to see, but something we can't ignore. We did assessment among um, 8,000 families and I asked mothers, how many children do you have? Some would say seven, some would say eight. And I say, how many are alive? Half, four, or three. So that was the story of this village. Tell us about this family. Do you remember when you first came in contact with them? Yeah. Uh, when they brought Nagash, the Nagash was five months old, and he was very tiny, uh, malnourished in young infant. Not only him, but the, if you see the mother, she was so depressed, uh, significant weight loss, and uh, you don't see any smile on her face. And uh, also the other kids were also underweight. This is real and it's happening every single day and what they're seeing is not a starving child. They're seeing a child that will not live. That's what you're really seeing. You're seeing a child before it dies because if we don't help, the child will not survive. Pat Bradley is with Crisis Aid International, the organization that Hand of Hope has been working with in this part of the world for many years. And this new permanent clinic is taking care to a new level, offering inpatient treatment for the severely malnourished, providing families with life-saving opportunities that didn't exist before. So we admitted all the, the, all the family and uh, we give him all the care he needs. Big difference when you see him now? Now there is a huge significant difference. He's uh, gaining weight. He's so playful. <laughs> now one year old, he's trying to walk. And you can see the difference on the, all, the whole family. Well, it's wonderful to see yeah, yeah. what God can do. Were you afraid that you were going to lose your son, that he wouldn't make it? I lost hope. I thought he would die. I, I thought he, I'm going to lose him, but I did a last attempt and brought him to the clinic. I was praying when I came to the clinic. I was praying to God. And when they said to me, yeah, we'll keep him and we'll treat him, I mean, I was, I was so happy. God has heard my prayer. There's no exaggeration. There are tens of thousands of children today who are alive because of Hand of Hope. Isaias is an amazing little man. He became our instant friend, and we had such a great time with him. He and many of the kids on this playground are joyful and full of life because you've given them an opportunity to live. God answered many prayers, and you provided a way when no way existed. And many more need our loving help. <laughs>